So today we're going to be unboxing the Thorfire S70S. It is, of course, made by Thorfire. There is a S70, but it's only 3,000 lumens. This is the 4,000 lumen variant, or 3,960 lumens. Um, let's see here. You can purchase this on Amazon. I'll place a link in the description for that. And there's just a couple of like, QR codes and stuff on the outside, so let's get to the inside. Right when we open this, we have the instruction manual. Let me just turn this to the side. The instruction manual. And let's see what it says here. I don't know if this is going to focus on this or not. If it doesn't focus, I will place an image. But yeah, alright, so we got Moonlight, which is one lumen, which goes for 480 hours. Low is 65 lumens, which goes for 72 hours. Medium is 320 lumens for 18 hours. High is 1800 lumens for 3 hours and 45 minutes. And finally, Turbo is 3960 lumens, which runs for 55 minutes. And Strobe is 1800 lumens, which goes for 4 hours. Uh, the distance is 680 meters max, so that's 870,000 candela. It's impact resistant to 1 meter. It is waterproof IPX8 for 2 meters. I think that's for 30 minutes or something, I don't know. And yeah, let's move on to the rest of the box. Alright, underneath the foam, we have a shoulder strap, which is very nice. Good fabric, nice and tough, thick. These little hooks are made very well, they're strong. They twist so it doesn't get tangled. Overall, this is a good shoulder strap. Over here, we've got a couple O-rings, a couple buttons with the tail cap. There was a couple of split rings in here for the shoulder strap to connect to the light, but I kind of lost those. So. <laughs> Well, so we have a lens, which is very nice. I suppose this is AR coded because the light itself is AR coded, so why wouldn't this be, you know? And yeah, that's very good. Now for the light itself, let's see here. Get the box out of here. The light itself, it's got the, let's get these out first. It's got some spacers if you want to use 18650s. But naturally, it takes 26 650s, which will definitely increase the runtime by a lot. In fact, the numbers in the instruction manual were based off 5,000 million power 26 650s. Real smooth, and then, well, I guess not really knurling, but engraving here. This has a nice, nice feel when you're holding it. It's real smooth. And the head here, you can see a ton of cooling fins on there. Because it, it, it gets a little bit hot, not crazy hot, but these definitely help. Kind of sticky. Got a forward switch, electronic. Got a like a manual non-electronic switch in the back, which is for on and off. That's all it does. Looking down the barrel, we can see we have an XHP70 running 4,000 lumens. You can also see the AR coated glass and the orange peel reflector, which creates a nice smooth hot spot. The only one problem is that there's a donut hole in the middle, which is kind of annoying, but nothing really you can do about it. Undoing the tail cap, we can see it's real smooth, and it has nice square cut threads right there. The only problem with the tail cap is it's a real big spring, which will create a lot of resistance. And there's a ring in here for if you hold it with one hand, that comes right off. Taking off the body, we can get to the head and see where the driver is. There's the body. And the same kind of spring is on the driver's side, so you might want to bypass both of those if you're getting this light. Now we're going to insert the batteries, which comes with these sleeves, as we saw earlier, if you want to put 18650s in it. And here I am putting the 18650s inside. These are protected button top 18650s. They may seem like they're a little bit long, but it goes in nice and tight and it doesn't rattle around and it doesn't squish the batteries either. You can also use protected button top 26 650s, which is what I normally use with this light. They were just charging when I was making the video. And you can see here the button is light up green.
the UI is as simple as turning it on and clicking through the modes. There's six modes, including strobe. There's moonlight, low, medium, high, turbo, and strobe. And to get to strobe, you just double click from anywhere. Clicking the switch in the back of the light just cuts all power to the light. It's kind of like a lockout. Now we're going to measure the lux of this flashlight at 5 meters. I have it set up on a ladder at 5 meters away. And we're using the doctor meter to measure out the output. and we get about 216 for our measurement. We get 53,750 candela at one meter and we get about 463 meters of throw. Now we'll look at some up close pictures of the light and then we'll go on to beam shots. So we've brought the light outside and it lights up a fair bit amount of this field here, you can see. It's a great light, especially with just one XHP70. It's super warm tint, it's almost like a green color. It's not the most beautiful tint, but it's not too bad. And now we get some measured distances and we're gonna see how it does. The first distance is 36 meters. The second distance is 93 meters. And lastly, we're at 127 meters. Overall, I think this is a great flashlight. It's super bright, it throws decently for an XHP70, and it lasts a real long time with 26650s in it. The only problem I can see with this is the donut hole in the middle of the beam, but at long distances you can't even tell it's there. So that wraps up this video. Stay tuned for some more, and thanks for watching.